Yeah, oh, uh, w welcome back to Metroid Other M. It's time to get the collectibles. It's I can't wait. It's time to get the rest of the collectibles. I knew it! Yeah, okay. I knew okay, it! We're getting, we're getting the rest of them. It's, I mean, we got... I mean, well, think about it. We got only one more collectible to get here in, uh, Sector 3. And then we just gotta go to Sector 1. And, uh, that includes the, uh, Biological Research Facility. And, uh, that's about it, right? Yeah, that should, that, that should that's be it. it. Yeah, that's it. It's right there. All right. So uh, well yeah, there's there's not much left to do then. Easy game. Easy game. So it's a little wonder we're gonna be finishing it today. So yeah, it's it's it, it's the end. No use being coy about it. Well, uh, I guess we can take some time to reflect on some of this, and uh, there are indeed a few uh, puzzles in section one that uh, should take our attention. Uh huh. Like what? Well, when we get to them, we'll get to them. Oh, okay. Well, if you want some reflection, my god, I'm glad you played this. <laughs> yeah. It's, like, I'll was... find my own crappy games to LP. I'm sorry your franchise had a bump in the road. But hey, at least the vast majority of the games that came out for your franchise rock. I've, I, I've been focusing on whatever good there is in this game, and because well, that's all you can do. Like, 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 like check this out. We are gonna get like all the Shine Spark puzzles here. Oh, that item was a Shine Spark puzzle. Yeah, check it. So uh, we'll oh, just uh, clear everything here so we yeah. get ourselves some space, and then dash. And then we just dash. Hot, hot, hot. We will hit hot, hot, too. Just run through here, and, and then head, head on up, and over to the right. Yep, that's awesome. I like that puzzle. Because I saw the blip on your map, I was like, oh, you just missed... Oh, oh I, did, I, did, I didn't miss a thing. You didn't miss a gosh... Yeah. Nothing gets past you, friend. No. Nothing gets past me except... Oh, wait. oh there it goes. Oh, shit. Except that. But that's okay, because it's that. All right, so that's Sector 3 done. I knew it. We only needed one more thing. That was it. Do you have... Whoa. Hello. We're gonna see a lot of loading, too, because I'm just going too damn fast. We Can't handle your speed! Whoa. Jesus. Okay, it handled that pretty well. I think they had to load in the area you would end up in before you actually got into the thing. I, I'm putting my uh, wafer-thin weed processor to the, to the <laughs> brink. Alright, so we only got 55% in Sector 1 and 33%, which is really just two items, in uh, the Viral Research Center, so that won't be... That'll be easy, that'll be simple to do, right? Yeah, yeah. You know what I haven't seen in a while? What's that? I haven't been keeping up with my console restoration videos. Just something nice and quiet to watch. Then again, Odd Tinkering hasn't updated in a while. Well, he, he updates, it's just not consoles. I've I've watched a lot of the extra stuff, because the consoles is what drew me to his channel. Right, of course, me too, but... And then watching the other things, it's just like, oh my god, this is awesome. Now I just realize, I just, I just love seeing him work. Yeah. Like, I, th I think he recently did, like, like an RC-controlled R2-D2 thing from the 70s or yeah, something. Yeah, I saw that. Early 80s. All right, oh, we got oh, we got a lot to get here. All right, oh, let's let's get to the pickings. Yeah, we got a got a lot of backtracking here, you know, back and forth. Uh, that'll be something. Well, let, let, let's get started. Yeah, the only reason I brought that up is because I saw him restore a Wii back to its former glory, and I didn't think you could fix a Wii because it's so delicate. But uh, no, he found a way. Uh, 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 you see the the one where he upgraded his PlayStation One, basically. Yes, make it made your region nice free, one. I think. They made a region free, and I think he added, uh... Oh, the, uh, yeah, the ability place to, to put SD cards. To, to run SD cards, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I would love to get into that. I'm just afraid of breaking things. I, I don't think you should give me a soldering gun. Like, I'm, all, I'm just learning how to do things in the kitchen decently. I don't think you want to give me a soldering gun. Well, you and I both know that we don't know our way around a PS4, especially its innards. Uh, yeah. An attempt was made... A valiant attempt, it ended up getting you a PS4 Pro. I don't think we should try restoring a PS4. It, 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 it gave me a, a, a reason to get a PS4 Pro and a neat uh, screwdriver head for when yep. I need to get into something. I still remember that day we went to what, two hardware stores and <laughs> couldn't find the thing we needed. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> something like that. We went to one hardware store, didn't even know what the hell we were talking about. Oh, exactly. It's just like, yeah, I need a, I need a screwdriver. Oh, for what? Uh, went went to a se oh wait went, went to a second hardware store and uh, that should be 
right here. Oh, oh, oh hey, there it is. All right, so this might be my least favorite puzzle in I the game, I think. I saw that as you were going down. So, yeah, uh, that is a door we need to hit with a super missile, essentially. But uh, we need to go ahead and clear this area first, you know, with... Oh, Shine Spark it. Double back, oh. of course. And I don't think they really did the Shine Spark puzzle correctly, because uh, when you're trying to go down here, you're not exactly going down a straight path. So when you think you're going down here, you're not... Well... well Oh, I don't know why I did that wrong. It's, 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 it's gross. It's not lined up correctly. But they want you to do oh, it. Oh, man. This is how they want you to do it. So uh, we'll just uh, line up here next to that uh, plant there and just start running and boosh. Oh, there we go. There we go. Make our way up, and that's how we break through all these uh, spiky roots. I was wondering about that. Okay. So now it's clear. Now we have to... We, we can't really reach it like this. Yeah, you gotta edge we forward. We have to edge forward. I'm like, like, huh, holding it and then and going here. We need to, like, lock onto it and... Oh, that didn't work. You can't shoot straight up? You have to use the super missile? I had to use a super missile, and I had to charge for that. So we had to run all the way back here, and then we'll try again, and then... And... Kerbloom! There! So that works. You missed. No, 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 we no, made it. it. We got it, but now we have to run all the way back up again. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> actually, oh, and you can see okay. it's actually a grapple beam point. See, I thought you had to shine spark straight upward. Meaning that we have to actually, you know, lock onto it again. It's Whee! it's it's just a very, very messy, gross, sticky kind of puzzle, and it's not ex not exactly a uh, intuitive one. It's getting all over my hands, and it's just, you, you just can't like, get it off like, entirely. I, I can't, like, I don't need a paper towel. I need to, like, straight up wash my hands. I need yeah. soap and water. It's, it's like, th that kind of stuff. God. Don't like it very much. Don't care for it. I, I give that one a a, a, a a tepid thumbs down. <laughs> An other M out of ten. An other M out of ten, yes. <laughs> Gross. Now this one's a little better. We'll just wipe out some of these things, give us some room here, use a super missile to open that door. And essentially what we do here is we just pick up speed. Get my steps in, get my steps in. Even if it's loading, don't stop. And up. Up we go! Oh, that was awesome. That's clean, I like that. That looked very clean. That one that one's okay. We can we can keep that one. Hey, nice. Very nice. Some nice missiles, dude. Not, well, not that nice. It's only uh, the 59th missile pickup. Well, it looks nice on the screen. Well, now we're going to make it not so nice. Damn it. Darn. Oh, well. Oh, well. Hey, 10 more missiles. Still, that's still some good missiles, though. Holy crap, this is wrapping up. Well, uh, anyway, fi final thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> Had to wait for it to load. Like, 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 after, after everything, you know, there's, there's gameplay elements that I don't like. I really hate going from first to third person. I don't know how many times I've said that, but you, you don't know how annoying it was going on that slope, going from third person where I'm holding it sideways mm -hmm. to first person where I hold it like this. I have to basically switch back and forth. And the fact you can't move while being in third person just drives me bonkers. That's, that's really limiting story, of course, is garbage, but there are good moments here and there. If they would have just had somebody else write it, I think they would have done they would have done better. If they were to do other M remastered, they would need to rewrite the whole thing. Or hell, just remake it at that point. Like, don't even bother with a remaster. Just remake the damn thing. Someone, someone pays me 500 bucks, I will sit down and I will rewrite other M. So that way it keeps the main story bits, but it also, like, fits well with the characterization of Adam and Samus and the, and the Federation and all that. You already have a good setup here. Like, you have the script as it's already written. It just needed an editor. I don't think this was edited. I think this is one of those instances where it's just like, no, my story's perfect. What are you talking about? That's what it, 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 that's what it sounds like Yoshio Sakamoto was like. It's like, no, it's good. It's fine. No, it's fine. And I, don't, and I think that the Team Ninja head at the time, who was trying to get his company up and running after uh, Tobonobu Itagaki's uh, disastrous departure, I think he's looking to say, yep, yep, we're going to make good with Nintendo so that they'll be good to us. And they were. And they were. So I think it was Yoshi it was a combination of Yoshio Sakamoto being a bit stubborn in how he wants his game done. Because this was all his vision. He said that many times. This is my vision. This is the way I wanted to do it. It's all him. So this is not any any input from the fans or anybody who wants to tell a good Metroid story. No, what they want, what he wanted, it was a, is the, 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 the Samus story that he wanted to tell, and he told it all right. 
Is this I, I don't, mean? I, I, I don't think I don't think the head that uh, Team Ninja told him told him otherwise because he knew what he was doing. I suppose. I think I've already made this comparison, but is this basically the Empress Teresa of the Metroid realm? No, 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 no. no I'm meaning no, no. because of the writer. No, 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 no. Because the writer of Empress Teresa is up his own ass five different times. He's only he's only up his own ass once. But but uh, the guy from the guy who did Empress Teresa that was that, that that's that, that's a book that is would you believe it or not not even the worst book I've ever read. No, I believe that part. It's mainly just how this person has interacted with critics. He's not that bad. Mm, I he, beg to differ. No, Yoshio Sakamoto is not that bad. Oh, okay, I see what you're meaning. No, no, the guy, the guy who did it for Sarisa, he he is well stuck up his own butt, and he will not hear any bit of criticism. But okay, I think Sakamoto's Yoshi not that bad. Sakamoto had an idea, and he wanted to tell the idea the way he wanted to, and he's the guy in charge, so he'll the one, he's the one who's going to do it. God damn it. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> you go into a watering hole. You just taking a drink. A ball comes Whoa, out of it and just what goes. The heck? What the hell is that? That's, that's a lady. That's not... And then you just ev evaporate. Oh, that was that was unfortunate for that poor dinosaur. <laughs> oh god, Sam is just causing extinctions. So how could we rewrite Other Ram then? I already said that if we had, you know, James being well against Samus's involvement. Everybody else can be like, you know, hey, hey, Samus Aaron, all right. And Adam being like, you know, great. I'm glad you're here. You know, it's 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 good to have you here. I, you know, I've I've missed you. Are you are you well? Are you, you know, maybe being a maybe Samus uh, loses her her items again. Yeah, I don't like the authorization angle. That just doesn't sit right. Like, if you're gonna do it, either have it so Samus is like, right, no problem, and then kind of, you know, then, you know, eases back on that. It's like, well, this is all good, and like, Samus. You, you know what? But I had to. You know what might work? Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm liking your angle. Uh huh. I'm thinking she brings back a power when it's necessary, and then when he goes, oh, Samus, what are you doing? And it's just like, sir, I have an explanation for this, and then goes about it. So, essentially, it's just testing, are you still loyal to me, or are you still going on your own path? What if there was a moral choice system? It, not, not, like it would, not like it would affect the story too much, but, like, you know, maybe it would affect how Adam, like, treats you, or maybe, like, you know... That how... could be interesting. Just see how he reacts to the different things you do. Like, are you going Adam's way, or are you going your own way? Like, then maybe you have to, like, make a tough choice, like, you know, would, like, a good soldier would wait, but, you know, Samus, of course, would, would, would go forward, but he wouldn't appreciate that much. Ooh, think of it this way have that be put into the difficulty setting. You go Adam's way, you're getting the harder route. You go your way, it's easier. I think I like that. Like basically saying, are you going to listen to Adam or are you going to go your own way? You go your own way, you get power bombs early. If you go Adam's way, you have to fight Queen Metroid without power bombs. I'm also remembering a, a thing they used in Zero Mission. Because remember, it's not like Yoshi Sakamoto can't make a good game. He made Zero Mission. He made Fusion. And we fucking love those games, don't we? Yeah. I think that's that's pretty safe to say. So it's not like he can't. But I think it was a combination of Team Ninja's involvement that kind of skewed some characterization things. So, you know, people who aren't familiar with Metroid, with just the one guy who has one view of how Metroid should be. But, uh, do you remember the unknown item I, uh, things? Oh, yeah, yeah, from Zero Mission. So maybe that could be a thing, too. Maybe you don't know what you get until Adam authorized it. Samus picks something up in the bottle ship, like, oh, it seems to be compatible with my suit, so uh, maybe I should use it. Samus, don't use that. Adam's typically warm demeanor suddenly oh, turns yeah. ice cold. Samus, don't you do don't. it. Don't. Uh, why, why not, So sir? are you going to listen, or are you going to go, oh, new toy? And so then when Adam does his, sacri his big old sacrifice play, which of course will rewrite to be actually, you know, impactful and not... Just completely stupid, like not shooting her in the fucking back. You, you know what? Uh, go ahead and finish up your thought because I have a thought on that specific scene. What was I saying? Uh, you were saying uh, the secret item or whatever. What, right, is it, right. what does it do? Right. So uh, secret items, and then uh, Adam does his big sacrifice, which we'll rewrite, and then that's when you can use them. Because because about that point, Sam has to be like, "All right, they're making Metroids. Adam died to to protect us. Mm. What do these do?" <laughs> Ooh, I like that thought. So that ending bit. 
mm -hmm. where he says, you know, I'm going to sacrifice myself to get rid of all these Metroids. Right. We never saw them, did we? No, they were in there. I'm calling his bluff. No, 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 they were in there. They were in there. I know they were in there for the sake of, sake of story, but I kind of wanted to see them. Like, if they just had a quick change of frame was... to show, like, three or four Metroids in frame, then I believe it fully. But the way this was set up is just like, no, there's a bunch of Metroids in there. We gotta get rid of them. It's like, we should have fought. Okay, bet. We should have fought those Sector Zero Metroids. I agree. We should have at least fought more than we, the, we the didn't, none we, that we fought. We didn't yeah. fight any. Yeah, we didn't fight any. We didn't fight a single Sector Zero Metroid. We just fought a regular Control Metroid from a regular Control Queen Metroid. And I think that might have added a bit more urgency to the ones that are in the containment field not being allergic to ice. Is you killing ones that are, can still be killed with ice. So imagine Met in, see, imagine in Metroid Dread, you know, halfway through that game you release the X. Oops. Imagine if you don't. If you hmm. just, oh, whoa, here's where the X are. <laughs> Self-destruct sequence initiated. <laughs> Takes all, care of that. And they all get de-atomized, yeah. That would be... That would be dumb. That'd be, like, why I would we... would feel cheated. Why did we even include them then? Yeah. We're just gonna kill them off screen. So we need to get the Sector Zero Metroids up in here. Definitely. That's a good idea. Like, okay, Cold can't de Cold can't destroy them, but thankfully I have... What's that secret thing you gave me? <laughs> Whoa! That seems to work, well, I'll use that! Actually, what would kind of show a little bit of the Samus they wrote in here versus the one that we know... A little foolhardy. Little goes in without thinking sometimes. Reckless has always been her thing, because this was the bitch who, right after Metroid 1, says, Oh no, I'm not done, and follows the space <laughs> pirates to the frigate Orpheon, where they're, like, you know, licking their wounds, and blows them the fuck up, too! So what if there was a situation in this newly written Metroid uh, Other M, where she finds out about the Metroids that are resilient to cold after killing the Sector Zero Metroids? Like, opens the door sees one of them come out or something like that, or, you know, they start rushing, she fires the ice beam and it doesn't work. Immediately closes the door again and goes, what the hell do I do now? Or and that's when you bring in Adam with a with an idea, not a solution, an idea. Or we go back to that scene where she's you know, walking through that part and then, you know, look around and <gasps> she, she sees a Metroid. Right here. Like, oh no. And then the, right game gives, the game gives me back control because, you know, oh, it's like the baby. Come on, Sam. It's okay. All right. So uh, you try and shoot it, you try and freeze it like you normally do, and it freezes it, and it breaks. Okay, cool. Then you see another one, but this one looks a little, a little oddly A little colored. more violent, maybe. Okay, so you try and shoot this one, and it doesn't work. You keep Freak. shooting, it doesn't work. You keep shooting, it keeps going, oh god, oh god, oh god, what do you do? And then, that's when you get a plasma blast from a rifle. It's Adam. Those are Sector Zero Metroids. How do you know that, Adam? Yeah, there's some intrigue. You can, you, can do, you can do a lot with this. It could be done. It could be done. But it wasn't. But it wasn't! Yeah, it wasn't and that's, It's uh, not like it would be hard. Not like it would be hard to do it. Yeah, uh, also, cut up the first person parts. They're dumb. Let's keep it completely, completely third person or just first person. Not both. How would you change the first person aspect? Because you do need to lock on to a couple things. Well, no, it's too integral to this now, unfortunately. How? You don't have to. The grapple beam and the missiles. All right, so I can hold a button to shoot to fire a missile. You know, maybe I can press the B button on under, on the underside of the Wemo to tr to toggle my missiles, as I normally do in other Metroid games. Maybe I can do that. Maybe I can like uh uh press that button to lock onto a reticle for the grapple beam. Or. Maybe if you add the nunchuck, you could add the, like, maybe toggle it? I don't know why he did That's I, don't, I have no idea why he like, said no to the nunchuck. I, I know it's a it's a bastard and a half to move your Wiimote from, you know, side to facing the pointer. It's, it, it was a problem ten years ago, it's a problem now. Like, if you add that to a button press, do you think that would change things? That means you won't have to overhaul the entire game, you would just have, oh hey, it's a button now. Th that'd be better, but why do that at all? If, if, if that's a thing, then make the whole thing first person. See, I still like your idea that they, that uh, Sakamoto was uh, jealous of Metroid Prime and the fact that they made a first person Metroid work see, three I, times. See, I, I don't think he was like that jealous, but I do f I do think that he was a bit burned that uh, you know Metroid Prime is the one that gets all the attention, all the praise, and yep. Metroid Fusion is like the. Eh. 
That makes me sad, because I really like Fusion. I, I did, too. I don't know why people thought the <laughs> way they it, think. But... I really liked Fusion. Oh, like, it's, li it's linear. Yeah. That story until, kicks ass. Until the end, and uh, until the end where Adam literally says, Go get him, Tiger. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go. Come on. 100%. Let's go. Rah! Yeah, no, the, the X were a great inclusion. That, was, that story was awesome. Without question. Oh, we got another Shine Spark puzzle. This one's a little... Uh... Go, 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 go. Here we go. Here this we go. This one's a little here we go. Uh, tricky. You gotta run up there and up here like that and like screw attack the corner because there's not a lot of places to jump up like that. Ooh. And oh uh, no! All because ah. there was a bar in front of it. Ooh. All because there was a bar in front of it. All right, one more go. And easy every go. time. Hang on. Easy hey. every time. Hey. Hey. Oh. Easy hey. every time. That's the one. There we go. That's the one. All right. So far so good. And, uh, wait. I believe that's the... Hello. It can't be. Is it? Uh, yeah. You said we need 80 missiles. Oh, wait, that's the last, uh, that was the last part. That was the last energy part. Oh, seriously? That was the way up? Well, actually, it's over here, but... Oh. But that's the way to get up there. Okay. If we wanted to go that way. But if you're awesome like you, you'll do the Shine Spark puzzle. And if you're awesome like me, you wouldn't play Metroid Other M. You'd play Prime 3 instead. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. This one's easy. Oh. <laughs> this is the only reason we couldn't get that because we didn't have space jump. You could use speed booster, but... Uh, It'd probably be annoying. The last time we were in here is uh, when we were fighting uh, against the Deleter the first time. Uh -huh. So it was very early game. We would have oh, yeah. had... We would have had no reason to come back here. What a bunch of fucking wasted potential the Deleter subplot oh, that, was. Yeah, that could have been Holy something. Holy shit, that was so bad. Like, like imagine... You know, uh, uh, Samus and Adam are at Sector Zero, and uh, other men have been dropping left and right. You know, oh. there's, there's, you know, we don't know where a couple of guys are. We knew, and uh, you know, it's like, well, I think I know who the deleter is, and they hear footsteps behind them, and they both turn around, and then Samus goes, "Nice to meet you, deleter," and then Adam goes, "Or should I say, James?" Da da. Yep, it's me. I need you to step away from the Metroids now, otherwise I'm gonna blow this entire place sky high. Or we don't even need that part of exposition. Just have an important plot point happening. The leader shoots a guy in the back. We both turn in and then have the player piece it together. It's just like, oh my god, that's the traitor. That's the him. The deleter. That's is the, the leader. The deleter is the guy who kills Adam. You know, shoots him in the back, and then you have a big old fight with the deleter. You know, yeah. who apparently knows all the fun ways to disable Chozo technology. <laughs> Maybe even getting another mysterious item you're not allowed to use yet. Mm, in the process, baby. Perhaps. I can't even tell you how... You probably heard it in my voice when you edited the episode, how fucking disappointed I was that the deleter subplot was just like... Oh, yep, that was him. Yeah, fuck it. That was him. It's just like, oh, come on! You actually had a good setup, and your payoff is just... Oh, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Any, oh. Anyway. What a wasted potential. Weak sauce. Weak sauce. Hopefully the episodes line up to where that one makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, that was a good one. I like that one, just shine, spark, and run and run yeah. and run. The thing is that we can't really uh, get down from here. Dude, we gotta go. Oh, invisible way. wall. Yeah, I gotta go along. It's 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 what fine. It's, game it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I gotta load all that. I get it. It's another part okay, of the map. It's technically okay, another room. Okay. Whatever. Yeah, you know, it's okay. It's fine. The I mean, the game runs fine too. You know, slow down here and there, loading screens here and there. But we expect it's that's a just game. a product of the time. It's, man. It's, just, it's just how it is. The fact that it runs this good at all is a miracle and a half. It, it, it is. It really is. It, it looks. It looks and runs pretty good. We actually have quite a few companies who have worked on Nintendo consoles and a bunch of other consoles. Uh, Capcom being one of them that are really good at compression tech. Uh, Factor Five games, I think, are the king of. Factor uh, Five's a king. Yeah, they're, they're undisputed. The undisputed kings who could, who were, were able to put Resi Two on the N sixty four on one cart. How? I, How? So oh my God, Factor Five, you guys are the goat. Holy shit! Oh, there it is. But uh, yeah, I think Team Ninja's pretty decent, and Compression Two, not the best by any means, but they're pretty good at it. I, th I think they can be, they just don't want to put their stuff on Nintendo consoles. It makes sense. I mean, if you have a game that is high-octane action and it needs a processor that can handle it, like, Other M's a good example of it being able to handle it, but this is a different animal. Well, I mean, Tecmo's working good with them for the Warriors series anyway. Yeah, but... I still can't figure out how they get to Warriors games to run as good as they do. You see how many people are on screen at the same time? 
Well, uh, Hyrule Warriors can chug a lot, but the thing is, it can. It's, it's still impactful, though. Yes. And that's why I don't... Oh, oh that's a... Ooh, oh, wow. hello, baby! <laughs> Thanks for loading in! <laughs> now, we're going to fast forward through here, because we got to do a lot of backtracking. Okay. You know, so, we'll just... Uh, very nice, very nice. Yeah. Got, got a lot to do oh, here, oh. and a lot of just boring going back and forths here, but, uh, yeah. We are essentially now going to the Biological Research Center. But Bioweapon Research Center. B BRC. The Burke. Last place. Alright. Because, uh, I think, I'm pretty sure, that's 100% in section, in uh, sector one now. We'll all be darned. Yeah, we're doing just, it. Just, they're just, they're uh, just, carving we're through We're doing everything. it. That's right. Carving through it all. I can't believe it. Yep, check it here, and yep, 100%. Research center, and then we out. You just gotta get the, the last two things at the research center. The last two missile expansions. That's it. Call us a car, cause we're Audi. No oh, wait, we're not actually finished yet. Sorry, I should have saved that one. Damn it. No. We will be Audi. I mean, we just gotta get these two more items, and then get the thing that we need from Adam, and then that's 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 we'll all she wrote. We'll be Toyota. <laughs> Camry. We'll, we'll be the opposite <laughs> of a stop sign. We'll be a uh, go. Sign. What's your favorite Street Fighter character that turns into a car? Mine's Camry. Camry White. <laughs> ha ha ha. Funny joke. Ha 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 ha. Funny. I'm sorry, I'll stop. That's okay. Actually, my favorite would be uh, probably E Honda. Guys! Yeah! <laughs> Damn it! I just thought yeah! of that! As soon as you started oh, speaking, oh! I was like, oh shit, here it comes. <laughs> here comes an E Honda. It's like, actually, you fucking fool. Don't you know? <laughs> the best car street fighter is E Honda! <laughs> it's a Ryu! That's not a car brand. I just like Ryu, okay? Shut up. Check out the guile on this guy. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, see, I can't make street fighter jokes. You're the guy. Oh. Well, guy is also a Street Fighter guy. He's also in Final Fight, but you know, it's fine. It's okay. It's fine. It's okay. I got a Hagarin for some for some collectibles. Ugh. Ugh. God. Again, only two collectibles in this whole center, and this next one I think is one of my favorites. Only two? Yeah, only two. That's it. Two more missile packs. That's it. Oh, after we've already been here. We've yeah. Okay. I was about to say, we had 33%. I was just like, that's not how fractions work, how percentages 66, work. 99. 9, right up Point to Point nine. Yeah, yeah. It just round it up a little bit. Okay. So essentially, we go in here, and this is essentially the meeting room where they talked about Mother Brain and all that. Let's blow the, the fuck Let's up. Let's blow the fuck up! Boom! Okay. Catharsis right there. <laughs> you didn't need a power bomb, but... It was it, a bombable floor there. But. Yes, you did. Yes, you, yes, you're, you, you did. You're right. You're right. You yes, did, you did need a power bomb. You to absolutely blow fucking did. That the fuck up. That's right. Blow as much as this game did. <laughs> <laughs> so this one's kind of neat too. Wait, this mother brain can actually blow you. Back oh, here, God. you go up this hologram. Oh, that's kind of cool. Jump. There you go, Whee! just like that. And in this vent right there, as you can see. <gasps> You drop and down here. And yes! That's it! The last collectible! 100% done with items of Metroid Other M! We are completed! Ha ha! Do you feel completed? No. Well, we're not done yet. I mean, we gotta get, get, we gotta get out, so we'll just right. uh, fast forward our way through and. Well, wait. We got 100%, right? Yeah. Are, are, are you sure? Let me see. All right, let's see. Yes. Yep. Yes, yes, yep. yes, 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 yes. Item collection, 100%. Yes, 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 yes. All right, we got it all. Let's go. We're going to head back now to uh, the main sector. We're going to head back to that room where Adam was. Used to be. Well, used, used to be. I mean, uh, Unless his ghost is there for some real hack riding. Nah, I don't think there'd be anything that dumb. You don't think so? You don't think Other M could eke out one more depressing fart? A goat... Ghost Adam? I don't think so. I mean, it's it's dumb enough they took his brain and scanned it to be an AI, but... <laughs> it worked within the context of the game, come on! That's about as ghost as we can get, but, you know, it it, it, it makes sense. Please show me a, a Jedi ghost version of Adam, please, for this <laughs> ending. I would love it if you showed me that other M. Please let me have this. All right. Not much left to do now. Elevators bound for the main sector. Well, good. 
Congrats on 100%ing Other M. Thank you, thank you. I don't know how many people have the patience to do that. All right. Including I yourself. Well, I mean, I'd, uh, <laughs> it was easier than I thought it would be, to hey, be honest. for the sake of hey, consistency... Wait a minute. What's this? Is there an extra one, just in case? What? what we, we got everything. No, I mean, this like... Is, this is a power bomb door. Why is he here? I'm just wondering the Super Metroid thing, where there was an extra one just in case. No, there's no, there's no 101%. There's, that's, that's all there is. Super boss? So what's... Super secret boss? So what's here? Ooh, super secret final boss. Maybe we can actually fight Mother Brain. What could be here, then? This is, like, ultra top secret. I want to kill an android waifu. I want to kill an android waifu. It's I want to kill like, the like, Federation. Like we've, we, we've entered the minus world of sectors. We, we, we've entered uh, sectors one, two, and three, and then sector zero, and now I think this is... This is the minus sector, I think. We get to actually fight a fucking Metroid in Other M? Well, it's, uh... <laughs> Do we get to fight other the bleh, mother brain? There we go. Let's keep on going then. Here oh we yes, go. show me that secret boss. Oh yes, show me crazy. a grand finale worthy of Metroid Other M. Well, it's worth it's worth noting. If you want to go this way, you should probably get everything else first, because they're gonna throw a whole bunch of enemies your way now. Very hard, or at least income in. in combination with one another, are they difficult? It's more of an endurance match, really, especially if you're, like, awesome. Okay. And you don't hit the damn don't plus, hit the plus button, button when okay. you're going from first to third person. God, I hate this! Why do they do it like that? It's alright, we're almost done. We're almost done, it's okay. It's fine. It's alright. It's, 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 it's okay. No worries at all. So now I have a question for you. Uh-huh. That door that you just found, Yes. does that show up after completing everything? Or has it always been there and we just never looked? Always been. Oh, okay. You know, when when you go in that uh, that uh, one room, mm -hmm. and you you go into the right, and then the camera zooms in on that power bomb door. Yeah. That's supposed to be you know the game saying, oh, you can open these now. Remember where they all were? Mm -hmm. Most okay. most of them lead to either shortcuts, collectibles, or in this case, something. Infinite ammo for a Metroid game? That so, sounds hilarious. We're just gonna speed through this because uh, you know it's, it's mostly a screw attack. It's the same enemies. They're, they're, they're throwing a whole bunch of enemies our way, and oh, yeah. we've already fought all these. We've things. already fought of them. Screw attack makes it all a lot easier. Yes, that's great. I'm glad to feel this powerful in a game that made me feel so useless. Even these guys, the true, the true villains of the, of the whole game, really. I can't believe they made my badass bounty hunter into a wuss, but now I actually feel powerful. I love it. It is nice to do that without uh, the uh, the Federation harping in on me at every every turn. Nice save before the secret final boss. Okay. Oh hey. Huh. This is the control bridge. Ah uh, ah uh, yeah. Show me a big monster. Show me a giant Metroid! Oh. Hey, it's Mother Brave! It's Fantoon! Wait, what? It's Fantoon! Oh, I didn't even recognize it. It looks so different. Another returning boss from Super Metroid, it's Fantoon! Oh, and it's got like evil ghosty hands. Fantoon is the secret hidden final boss of Metroid Other M! Well, that kicks ass. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Oh, well, I guess this is the only way you're gonna kill it. That's well, a good thing we got a gravity suit. I was about to say, yeah, good thing he got grab suit. So... Shit, why the hell is he here?! I have no idea, but it's this is great. I, I don't even care why he's here anymore. Yeah, he's I, he's, I he's just here. Is, is this a time paradox? I don't care. Like He's I, here. Like, I feel like if I grab the ringleaders of the Galactic Federation who thought of this whole bottle ship business, <laughs> bring him into an interrogation room, strip off his fingernails, leave him without food or water for two days, why? and come back and ask him if he's ready to talk and ask him why he has fucking Fantoon on the bottle ship, he would go... Uh, uh, yeah, I don't think he... Ooh. Okay, this is great. Holy shit, I did not expect this. Like so, how, how much did they take from my suit when I went in for that checkup, huh? So Fantoon's back, Kraid is back in dread, Ridley came back for this, but now he's like dead dead for realsies, actually. Yeah, Kraid I think is being uh, sectioned off to ZDR in, in, in chains because he's so much of a failure, he's just being buried underneath uh, But underneath he's the died ground. like three times. He died in Zero Mission, he died in Super Metroid, and then in Dread. Yeah. 
so I'm gonna guess that there's some sort of, you know, uh, regeneration thing that Ridley oh, does. Possibly, yeah. You know, just to bring back his officers or whatever. Yeah, you know. But Ridley's dead dead. Ridley is dead dead, like canonically dead. So the only boss we haven't fought yet is Dragon. The uh, returning boss, I should say. The only one we haven't killed dead dead is Dragon, unless we did. In nah, he's Super Metroid. Yeah, he's dead dead. He's so, so Fantoon's back just for fan service, I'm guessing. Croconaw, too. He's dead, too. Yeah, he's dead. I mean, I mean he, he's like... He, he, is, he is skeleton. He is he not is coming back. He's hyper dead. <laughs> like, like we, 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 dead. we cooked off any biological <laughs> yeah. material. There's no way we Ain't can bring no it back. Way. No way. Croc's coming back. Uh-uh, none. I like this, though. This is awesome. This is okay. A lot of just sense. Oh, yes. Dodging, yes. But, yeah, right. get on yeah, that eyeball. Here we go. Here we go. And hope you enjoyed your secret hidden final boss because now it's over. That kicked ass. And it just floats off into space and explodes. Worth it, I think. Not worth the entire game? Oh, fuck no. Worth it to explore the finale just to find him. My question, though? Yeah. Why was this a secret hidden final boss? Where it could have been in the game at any point? Where it could have been Ridley instead. Imagine if he was a super secret hidden final boss. But emotions. But emotions. But emotions. But emotions, whatever. Well, now we're done. Officially. We're done. Awesome. Through. Final boss complete, which unlocks some extra things in the main menu for stuff. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I was hoping it would be worth something. That's it. We're done. Finito. And now we take an elevator down to... Well, where are we going? I don't know. Oh, great. Well, we gotta have one moment like this, at least. <laughs> it's like they did this because only Metroid fans would ever go this far. Oh, absolutely. It, it's a Metroid game that anybody can play, and most anybody's would have been done by now. Uh-huh. But because uh I'm a Metroid fan, they did that especially for me. Hey, that's good. They thought of the fans, at least. All right, now let's get out of here. For realsies. We're now in the room where Adam was. Oh no. Well, okay, through that door is the room where Adam was. And I actually like this I, I like this scene. Alright. This kind of makes everything fit. It's Adam's helmet. Ames. <laughs> Fires. Gone. So she takes off the suit and grasps her father figures slash four mentors helmet remembering his sacrifices and the bittersweet memories that come from him and crushes it in her hands but check this out thanks for telling me all this i've got to destroy the metroids and MB so samus is like all right i'm gonna blow up sector zero now no sam he's like oh shit no 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 can't do that oh god so he just grabs his gun and then just runs off without thinking Actual concern? Where Car was this? Where was that? See, if it would have if it would have had more of that, I would have actually believed more. Where was that, this? And this is just a really nice moment that I think really could have been better if they would have just fleshed out on this. Uh. Self destruction. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still in here. Right. I forgot. We're playing other end, where you can just throw sense out the fucking window. So now we have five minutes when, it, no when, the, when the countdown starts. And no suit. Five minutes holding Adam's helmet under our arm like we're, run, like we're running for the touchdown. <laughs> yeah, be sure to spike it when you get to your ship. No suit. <laughs> all of our E-tanks. All of our powers. All of our missiles. Everything gone. Gone, gone, gone! We gotta do this suitless because... Ow. Well, who cares? Oh, I got hit by fire. That's gonna be a hazard going th going forward through here. But, whatever. I gotta do it because it's... I, I, I don't even have my weapon. I, I've got I've got my shitty, like, pew-pew blaster pew -pew. that I had from that one part in Zero Mission. Oh, she you, does? You know. I didn't even notice. You know, the part where I, I, where I had no choice but to do it because the ship that had my old suit in it got destroyed. And I noticed you're but, hitting all the invisible walls. So why the fuck? Why the fuck? Why the fuck? Do we not have our suit on for this? 
The place is going to blow! The day that we were scheduled to blow up the suit, the, 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 the bottle ship is today! Why do I not have my suit?! Please jump over the edge, thank you. Why were there so many invisible we like invisible walls there? I don't why do know. I, why do I not have to my suit? You... Why do I not have my weapons? Why? Like, why? Why are we doing this? So that way she can have bragging rights? For the swag? No, I want her to spike it. Please, once you get to your ship, spike the damn thing. Like, why does she not... We could use a speed booster and get out of here in, like, record time! Also, why didn't they check? Uh, I guess we came here of our own volition, so they wouldn't know that anybody would still be on this bottle ship. Yeah, we kind of, like, went in here when they have, like, a no trespassing sign, cut through some yellow Oopsies. tape, cut through the barbed wire fence, just to, just to, well, really, take care of the other few monsters they had on there, and fucking Fantoon! Are yeah, we, what were they gonna tell me about that, I huh? was just thinking that. What are they gonna tell us about the actual boss monster that I fought before? Uh, never? Okay, cool. Attract. Right. this is cool. Slide. Okay, yeah, Slide. yeah. Slide. Yeah. But we gotta, like, shoot these gates up. That's what I'm talking about, yeah. Have us give us a reason to have this little blaster and a slide move. I love it. I have no idea, no idea, none, absolutely zero idea why she does not have her suit. It, it is baffling. It's just the last, the last insult that Metroid Other M can give me. I think it's also because you know Zero Mission did it. Zero Suit Samus is a big deal for fans. That had a reason to do it though. But pretty lady in jumpsuit. Yes, I get Pretty Lady in Jumpsuit. Then you wait for the end to get Pretty Lady in Jumpsuit. <laughs> Unless you were too slow to do it, and then you get Pretty Lady just showing her showing her face in the armor. Or if you really suck, you just see, she yeah, just you gives just you see a, the armor again. Just, just give you a thumbs up and a wave. <laughs> I don't know how to tell you this, but we're just friends. It was my number. Oh, you actually had to jump through there? See, I would have thought the same thing as you. Go straight down. So too, but we got to go through here. Okay. I'm, yeah. I'm, Epic I'm, slide. I'm uh, running out of time. I'm getting a little, little uh -huh. worried here. There is, uh, and there's a lot of enemies here. But Samus doesn't really think that seems to be much of a problem. Ow. You know. Okay. Continue. Uh, you know, th slide. those those lovely power bombs we worked so slide. hard to get would have been just great to use in this situation. You know, okay. the place is gonna blow up Fire. anyway, and uh, you know, just, and blasters. Okay, cool. Yeah, blasters. You know, like, you know screw attack would have made you know short work of everything. Honestly, would've... I think this part would have been kind of cool if the enemies were not here. Yeah. Like taking away the oh 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 no. Taking away the e tanks. No, well, first of all, taking away the suit is really stupid. But taking away the e tanks means you actually have to maneuver around the fire. You just can't run. I'm You're gonna, actually gonna die. If I could hit, if I could hit one more time, I'm You're dead. dead. Yeah. By so, by uh, anything. Yeah, please don't. Apparently, uh, those uh, bits of fire everywhere were uh, were hazardous. Oh hey, you're here. Well, I'm here. You're here. I got a minute. Oh jeez. And. Game has been won. Congratulations. Spike that shit. Wow. Yeah. S seriously, spike that shit. Cause we are now done. That's it. I brought my dad with me. I put him on the ship. It's just his helmet, but his thoughts are still in there for some reason. Oh shit, my suit! No! Yep, forgot that. Maybe that's why it. Oh no, she has her suit in dread. Okay, never mind. I, I, I really think they just. Wanted to have her in, a, in her skivvies all the time. That's mm -hmm. why we see her out of the suit all the time. Indeed. They, they couldn't handle having her just you know, be, be zero suit at the very end. The first way you see her is on a table with no power suit. Uh-huh. It's pretty much what I expect from Team Ninja, honestly. Well, we did it. Federation doesn't give a shit about where we are. It's all, it's all good and, uh, yeah, cool. And then Dragon shows up. <laughs> all right, let me see it. Let me see it. Show me. It, it's not official until you see this. Your rate for completion is... That's yeah! what I'm talking about! Yes! Woo! Another one in the books! Another one in the garbage bin! <laughs> ah, I hate this game! <laughs> Spike that shit! <laughs> Straight into the bin! It is, it is a very solid 6 out of 10. That, that's my final... It is a 6 out of 10 because there's a lot, there's a lot of good here. It's playable. It's short, so you don't have to waste too much time. But that story, you just can't, it's like, it, you, you can't make it work. Wait, nothing else? Oh, you got, you got, yeah, you got gallery mode, and you okay. got, you got some ex you got a hard mode, which if you beat, you, no. get, you get nothing. You don't, you don't get anything for winning hard mode. So wait, mode. we don't even get an end of game, like, you know, 
I guess we did see her in our zero suit the entire time. We can check so. gallery mode, see if they did anything here. Cause I yeah, think did they add anything? In, yeah. Oh, well, they had to have, because you were missing, like, half of it. I think they added that extra cutscene or two in theater mode. You know, Correct, for, yeah. For all that. If but, I had to uh, guess, yeah. I think most okay, of Okay, there's some bosses. We see some bosses. It's just bosses and environmental It's so they wouldn't spoil ship Dragon. There's, there's uh, Ridley. Okay, he's yeah. looking buff as fuck. Look yeah. at that 12-pack. Uh-huh, right. It was 10-pack. We've seen more of him. He was he was wasted, too. Uh, yeah, he was just there, and then all of a sudden he died. Yeah, there's the Metroid. Okay, that looks pretty dope. I like that confidential project metroid project m like, uh, so all the ones labeled project m were the ones who that were sealed behind game completion and that's it that's it that's it ending on a whimper ending on a whimper and from our pussified bounty hunter well great i'm gonna take some time and prep metroid prime 3 i think that's a good idea which is the last game that we have in the metroid series up until now until Prime 4 comes out. Yep, that's it. Uh-huh. So, uh, we're gonna need some time for Prime 3. A little, you know, probably a few months or those. So, uh, what should we do in the meantime? Still got those rubber gloves. I heard a sniff, but you getting sick? Just a little bit. It's it's nothing. Still got those it's, rubber gloves. It's nothing. Well. Maybe you need to put a mask on and maybe... Do you still have your stethoscope? You know, I still have my stethoscope. I still got my uh, my, my medical license, like, right, right here, you know? Uh. Mm -hmm. Doctor! Doctor!